Hi, explorers, and welcome back. The book I'm going to read today is one of my favorites. The title of the story is called Growing an Artist, the story of a landscaper and his son. The author and illustrator is a man named John Pada, and John actually happens to be the little boy in the story. This is a story about his life. Are you ready, Miho? Poppy asks me. I smile as I carry an armful of tools and supplies. Have a good day, mommy calls. Soon we rumble off into the cool morning air. Today is a big day. Today is the first time I get to help my poppy at work. He is a landscape contractor. Our first stop is to pick up Javier. He has worked for my dad since I was small. Before that, he lived in Mexico working on avocado farms. Javier asks if I remember the Spanish he taught me. Como te llamas? Javier asks. Me llamo Juanito, I reply. Listo para trabajar, he says. Si, sí, listo, I answer. He nods approvingly. You are ready for work. As we continue down the road, we sing loudly to the oldies on the radio station. At Mrs. Tabre's house, Javier shows me how to mow perfect lines in the grass, just like I've seen at the baseball stadiums. Poppy demonstrates how to shape and trim the bushes. When I look up, I see a face in the window next door. It's Alex from Homeroom. He looks away and pretends not to see me. My heart sinks. We always say hi in school. I put my head down, feeling awkward, and I continue to pick up the leaves. Juanito, Poppy calls soft and interrupts my thoughts of Alex. He pushes back the branches of the bougainvillea bush. I'm surprised to see a nest of baby birds chirping away. I grab my sketchbook and I quickly draw. Finally, with our electric blower, we can clean the sidewalks and drives. The sun shines through the clouds of dust. At lunchtime, I unwrap mommy's famous burrito, chorizo, avocado, and egg. I'm still thinking about Alex when I ask Poppy, do you like your work? He pauses and says, you know, Miho, being your own boss is the best thing in the world. You have to work hard and sometimes you are treated like you are invisible. But when you do something you love and you get to be creative, you feel proud. He notices my sketchbook and says, hey, you are getting so good. I smile. The next stop is the nursery. Javier finds a store utility cart to drive and we load up plants. There are bushes and trees and vines and many flowers to choose from. I again pull out my sketchbook and I begin to draw. With our purchases, we head to Mrs. Sar Mr. Sardusco's house. He is an old family friend who has more than 200 rose bushes in his garden. When Poppy shows him the special Busy Bee Rose Book just for him, Mr. Sardusco is thrilled no one knows more about plants than your dad, he exclaims. By now, our truck is still full of brush and waste, and we need to head to the city dump, Poppy announces. Fantastic, I say. I love that place. Soon we pull up to the registration booth and then head up the winding road. The dump will turn these branches and trimmings into mulch for planting. Poppy unhitches the truck clamps, lowers the tarp, and climbs back inside. I hear the hydraulics working hard. Vroom, vroom. The back bed lifts up, we inch forward, and soon all of the debris comes tumbling out. All three of us look at one another and shout, Ihole! The final stop of the day is a house that looks much different from the ones we saw earlier. We ring the doorbell. Mr. and Mrs. Carroll are happy to see my dad. Together they discuss how they want to transform the overgrown yard into a special place. I look around and I start to see its potential too. That evening, I have an idea. May I help with the landscape design? See, si, Poppy agrees. That would be fantastic. Soon, Poppy and I are sitting at his work table, drawing the lawn, the flower beds, the walkways, and the trees. I add colors to brighten the layout. Hours pass and I become lost in the work. I forget to think about Alex. This is beautiful, Miho, Poppy says. The next day he comes home with a huge smile. The Carols love the design. We break ground next week, he says. You have a gift, says mommy. After a few weeks later, Poppy and Javier and I work to plant the last shrubs. The plans I help draw are about to be real. I grab my sketchbook and I turn the pages. I see the yards as my dad that my dad has made beautiful. I see Javier hard at work and I remember Alex's face in the window. 
I turn to a blank page and I begin to sketch. I will use my art to tell the stories of the hardworking and passionate people who make the world more beautiful. I will tell their stories and I will tell my story. So this is the author, John, and this is a picture of John with his dad, the landscaper, and this is a story from John. The story of the little landscaper is the story of my childhood. When I was growing up, I worked for my father who ran his own landscape and construction company in Southern California. My father's parents had come from Mexico, then to El Paso, Texas, where my dad was born. When he was nine years old, my family moved to California to the hot Central Valley. There he labored throughout his youth, about ages nine to 17, alongside his siblings as a migrant farm worker. As he got older, he began working at a nursery in Bakersfield caring for plants. After serving in the United States Army, he settled in Santa Barbara and began learning the landscape business. It didn't take long for him to receive his contractor's license and over time his business grew. Within a few years, he became president of the regional tri-county chapter of the California Landscape Contractors Association. Often my father's employees were migrants from Mexico who rented rooms in our home and became part of our extended family. My parents encouraged them to take English classes and many did. My father sponsored his labors for their citizenship. Eventually a number of them went on to buy homes, begin families and start successful businesses of their own. I began accompanying my father to work when I was seven, at first helping with small tasks, but by the time I was 13, it was my part-time job. As a young artist, I loved to work on my father's landscaping blueprints. For 12 years, I learned from my father and even considered studying landscape architecture and design when I got older. Ultimately, I found my own path studying illustration and fine art at the Center Art Center College of Design in Pasadena, California. Landscape work is not easy. It was both physically demanding, a physically demanding job being done outdoors in all kinds of weather. I had to balance school, friends, life, and art and help my dad, but working with him was rewarding. I, it was a creative outlet that I nurtured and my imagination and my dad's eye for design and beauty inspired me as a young artist. It provided me with a strong work ethic and taught me responsibility and business. I am grateful for those days that I spent with my dad and proud that I could contribute to my family's business. John was the illustrator of this book here, Hey Wall, and this book called The Power of Her Pen. He drew the pictures for both of those books, but this is the very first book that John authored, meaning he wrote and illustrated himself, which I thought this was a great real life story. And if you notice the end pages were the blueprints, it's like the plan of the garden that he helped design. I hope you enjoyed this story as much as I did. Until next time, explorers.